Okay, my friends. Hello again. We're going to look today. Now I told you what I wanted you to do was find a piece of music that you liked on the Adobe Rush soundtracks. There are different ways to add music, but the easiest one is to kind of use the stock music we're going to do. So you should have input your pictures, recorded your voiceovers, and made sure that the voiceovers were matching where your images ran to. And so you should have that all done and you should have all your images. Now you see that I cut down my number of images so that I could show you more quickly, but you should have a total of minimum 13 slides at this point with voiceover for each of them. So what we wanna do now is we wanna to go to the very beginning and we want to add music. So up here at the top, you can see the plus button we're going to click that and we're going to touch on media. Now, if you have audio, you can click on songs from your iTunes library. But the issue is, of course, if that music is inappropriate or if it's copyrighted or if there's different issues, you might have problems bringing that in. There is quite a bit of good background sound right here under soundtracks if you click on Rush soundtracks. Now, easily, you can just listen to each of those by touching it on the play button. And you can find one that you like. Okay. And you just pick one. And I think I'm going to add that one. So I played that one. I'm just going to add it here. And then I click add. Now I want you to notice that that pulled in and look how long that runs, which means if we leave it alone, we're gonna have all of this space here that has no pictures or anything to it. So we just go to the very end where we want it to be. Make sure the yellow box is just around your image. Uh, I'm sorry, just around your song. And we hit the cut button. Okay, that's the easiest way to do it. You could resize it by coming here and making it different lengths. But the easiest thing is to find your endpoint and just hit cut. Then I take that piece, make sure it's the end piece that's highlighted in yellow and I just delete it. Now, the issue is going to be, you can see the waveform we talked about yesterday, how tall this waveform is and how low this waveform is. Now, if we try to play it right now, you may not be able to hear my voiceover very well. My name is Joe Student, and I'm going to pour okay. four on my perfect vacation. You can hear that it's just too loud. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the song and we're gonna come up here on the side and see this little thing that looks like a waveform? If we touch on that, we can adjust the volume, okay? So we can click on that and just make it smaller and you can see your waveform drops down quite a bit, all right? So you see how your waveform got smaller here and we can just check and play with it. All the way to Bora. We will fly first class to Bora Bora on United Airlines. Okay. And so you just kind of find that happy medium where you can hear it. It's just subtly in the background. And I may turn it up just a touch and hit play. Now, good vacation. We will fly first class to Bora Bora on United. All right. So you can do that. Now, you can also adjust the volume on each of your little pieces. So if you find that your piece is just too quiet, you can ramp it up a little bit, okay? Now, if I do that, the problem is you want to make sure that those pieces are level, meaning you don't have one really loud piece and then one really quiet piece, because what I just did is going to do something and you're gonna hear it right now. Hello, my name is Joe Student, and I'm going to Bora Bora on my perfect vacation. We will fly first class to Bora Bora on United Airlines. Okay, you probably couldn't hear it very well, but look how tall that waveform is right there. That waveform is way too loud. I need to kind of adjust it back a little bit until it's the top peaks and the average is about the same. This happens sometimes if your mouth is too far away from the mic or too close to the mic or there's lots of background noise. You can click on those if you're interested there are also some advanced features, and I could say that this is a voice recording, and if I click on that one, you can see that this is designated as a music recording. Voice recordings show up different, 
and you can do auto volume. Okay. I can also background uh, balance the sound, reduce background noise. Like if I record outside, this one is good when you guys are back next year and you're recording outside and you get that kind of wind blowing, um, the rumbling of the jets overhead. If you click on that for your voiceovers, it actually takes out quite a bit of that background noise. For example, right now, you may be hearing the air conditioning unit being really loud, and I hope that's not too distracting, but my good microphone already kind of takes out some background noise, so I hope that's pretty good. All right, so once I've taken that, I found a nice level for it, and I messed around, and I made sure that it all looks good, you are finished for the day. So that's all we have to do. You've already added your pictures, you've added your voiceover, and now we added a piece of music. Tomorrow, I'm gonna walk you through exporting this and uploading it to YouTube. So this is gonna be kind of exciting. Right before I finish and before I close out of this, just to make sure, I'm gonna hit the home button, and then that will automatically make sure it saved my work and is backed up to Adobe Cloud. All right, my friends, I hope that wasn't too much for you today, and I hope it was understandable. Email if you have questions, and I will talk to you tomorrow.